What's going on ladies and gents, Billy Donnelly here at This Is Infamous and today via the wonders of digital video I'll be taking you deep into the world of boxing for some soul searching as we review the film Creed. This pseudo sequel to the Rocky franchise stars Michael B. Jordan as Donnie Johnson, the son of former world heavyweight champion the late Apollo Creed, with Sylvester Stallone reprising his role as the Italian stallion Rocky Balboa, who is further along on his life journey from where we last left him following the sixth movie in the series and now far removed from boxing. However, he's going to find himself called back into the mix with a familial obligation of sorts to train Donnie as the youngster tries to make a name for himself as a fighter, one that doesn't have him living in the shadow of his father's greatness. As a fan of most of the Rocky films, we've all collectively agreed to pretend Rocky V didn't exist for the most part, I found Creed to be an excellent fit in the continuing arc of this story, feeling much more like one of the early Rocky movies like 1 and 2 that were a bit more grounded in emotion than the later films like 3 and 4, which while beloved, really embraced the spectacle as part of their selling points. Creed is all about an underdog who no one believes in outside of a select few, battling adversity both in and out of the ring in order to prove that he belongs. Sound familiar? And it's the charisma of Jordan that really makes such a role work, be it that he's coming from a different background than Stallone's Balboa. This isn't a guy who's trying to make the most of his one shot at the prize, using his heart and his will as his primary tools against those who are more physically gifted and definitely more intelligent than he is. Donnie Johnson has it made if he wants, which could be a huge drawback to a character like this. However, Jordan is able to make you believe that he's engaging in a fight worth having, one that we can identify with as we ourselves navigate figuring out who we are. The contributions of Stallone cannot be understated either. Having owned the Rocky franchise for decades now, he's still able to add a few new wrinkles to this new film as we explore Rocky Balboa at a different time in his life. We finally get to really deal with his feelings as they pertain to the death of Apollo in Rocky IV. We get to look at this character as he's grown older and a bit wiser and has some perspective to offer up to a younger generation about not only boxing but about life. This is the grounded Rocky Balboa that got this series off the ground in the first place, as opposed to the larger-than-life cartoonish boxer he later became. And it's refreshing to see Creed harken back to what made Rocky so beloved in order to be of real service to the story this film wants to tell. Ryan Coogler does some amazing things with the camera when it comes to filming the boxing action. Gone are the days of shooting everything from a wide angle as if you were watching a sports broadcast, and in are the moments of putting you as a viewer in the ring with the fighters, feeling every punch landed and flinching with every near miss as you rest on the shoulders of these warriors. If there's one drawback to the film though, it's that the finale doesn't carry as much weight as it has in previous Rocky entries. With all the effort of Creed being put into establishing Donnie Johnson and bringing Rocky Balboa into the present day, there is less emphasis put into building the final boxing match into something truly important, and as a result, what Creed winds up with is an underwhelming third act. That doesn't mean it's not a crowd pleaser, but it isn't the rousing climax one would hope for. That said, Creed is a fantastic motion picture that hits all the right notes and is a worthy addition to the Rocky legacy. It doesn't rely solely on nostalgia, as a lesser film would, using what remains interesting from the past, but adding plenty new for the present and the future. This is the way torches should be passed on franchises like this, and Creed does a marvelous job of reintroducing the world that these events take place in, and laying the foundation to move forward within it. Creed is a definite watch that comes with a high recommendation from me for anyone that has ever enjoyed a Rocky movie in the past, or any good movie for that matter. Be sure to like this video down below and subscribe to the YouTube channel as a whole so you can be notified of all new video reviews that hit This Is Infamous. And until next time, be sure to find yourself something good to watch as there is plenty worth your time if you look hard enough. For This Is Infamous, I'm Billy Donnelly.